What's your big takeaway so far from week one? From week one, I'm going to go to that team, the Minnesota Vikings. I thought they were fantastic last night, and they made a statement. They only threw the ball 10 times, and they ran the ball down the Falcons' throats. They're the sleeping giants of the NFC. Yeah. We talked all offseason about the Packers and Bears. We talked all offseason about the Rams, the Giants, the Cowboys, the You're Eagles. Right. Vikings were dominant last night. You know what? They were dominant two years ago, and I think Kirk Cousins is a significant upgrade from Case Keenum. I think Dalvin Cook, if healthy, could be one of the best running backs in football. They are the team that nobody was talking about before week one, and we have to be concerned about the Vikings. Watch out, Rams. Watch out, Seahawks. Watch out, everyone else we did all the talk about. Vikings are your sleeping giants of the conference. Uh, I'm going to look at the East here, the North. I'm going to look at the East. There, there are two monsters in the NFC East, in the Cowboys and the Eagles, and mm. we've seen great Cowboys teams, seen great... I don't know if we've ever seen them together in the same season, at least if you go back as we celebrate the NFL 100 to 1992, I think it was the last time you saw an Eagles team this loaded, a Cowboys team this loaded. The Eagles were 11 and 5. I mean, look, we had, we had Reggie, and this is Herschel Walker Eagles and Randall Cunningham Eagles. They were a great, great team. And of course, Dallas, they were doing the triplets, and it was the beginning really of a dynasty with Troy and Emmett and Irvin. Those two teams were fantastic. Guys, I'm starting to get the same sense of this kind of talent in these two teams. Mm. These two teams have not played in the NFC title game since all the way back in 1980. But just based on one week sample size alone, guys, we talked about Dak Prescott. It might have been the best game of his career yesterday. Was it even better than Carson Wentz's game yesterday? I don't know. It is a pick 'em right now. I saw Dion was on with Chris Rose last night, and he threw in with Dallas. But I would defy anybody at home tell me definitively, is yeah. the Dallas or Philly right now who you got? Week 7 at Dallas, <gasps> Sunday night football is it. the two teams. Exploding helmets. Yeah. Philly and Dallas both loaded this year. Look out. Speaking of loaded, how about the Baltimore Ravens? That offense looks special. And you mentioned the Vikings only throwing the ball 10 times, doing the unexpected, almost like a bizarre world. And when it comes to Lamar Jackson, it was like a bizarre world. You expect him to run the ball, but he didn't. He was phenomenal. 17 for 20, that's efficiency. Putting up 324 yards, that's a career high. Five TDs, that's a career high. Throwing fadeaway touchdowns like this right here. Lamar Jackson did everything that every single critic thought he couldn't do. They thought he was gonna go out there and run the ball all season long. You know what, he's gonna get hit, he's gonna get folded up, he's gonna get broken, he's not gonna last. He only, run the, he only ran the ball once, I think he had seven yards. The rest of the time, he dropped back like a traditional quarterback, threw touchdowns like a traditional quarterback, and guess what? This past weekend, you have to mention Lamar Jackson's name as one of the best QBs in the league as far as week one. I'm not saying he is, but respect him for the numbers he put up. As of week one, Lamar Jackson is in the conversation. So what's your takeaway from seeing what he could do through the air? For the, like, what, was, what did you learn from that? Because you called it happening like for months before. Yeah, no, I didn't learn anything. I, yeah. I, I thought that they learned from their playoff game. Got it. They spent three quarters trying to run the ball, and they were getting smacked in the mouth by the Chargers. And I think all offseason long, even though they were telling us they were going to run the ball, I think they were fooling everybody, knowing what they were working on behind the scenes was making sure Lamar Jackson was a more efficient passer going into the 2019 season. Nice. There were a lot of moments that sort of stuck with me yesterday, but that Delaney Walker soundbite, and you guys know I love Delaney yeah, Walker, our sure. first guest, he had a jersey come out and brought it to me, and I feel like I disrespected him, and I think a lot of people have after a season-ending ankle injury. He is 35 years old. This is a guy who has a permanent chip on his shoulder, being a, a sixth-round pick who was in the shadow of Vernon Davis, then he goes from San Fran to the Titans, a team that doesn't get enough respect in the league. So that, that chip on his shoulder is there. It's prevalent, and it's never moving, and it's growing clear because you're going to hear you're going to go through your Monday and you're going to hear a lot of talk about how the Browns lost and how the Browns hype was too much. I'm pretty sure the Tennessee Titans won this game and I love the way they did it. They dominated, especially down the stretch in the fourth quarter. And maybe my takeaway is that we've sort of slept on them. The table is set. Nick Foles has they have an injury situation. Gardner Minshew, I don't know what they're going to have going on there. Andrew Luck, who is the biggest threat to them anyway, has walked away from the game. Is the table not set for these Tennessee Titans to make moves and a deep run into the playoffs from the jump? Yeah. Yeah, and Delaney in that moment. He set it up. He's to oh, get yeah. going into the game. Browns this, Browns that. He had two touchdowns yeah. in the game, and he deserved that moment afterwards mm. to say he crowned their ass. That season-ending <laughs> ankle injury was in the season opener a year yes. ago. Then uh, at the age of 35, you're going to have two touchdowns to start the came season? Back. You couldn't write a better story it's than awesome. Delaney Had Walker. the soundbite of the weekend, too. And yeah. these Tennessee 